It's Tuesday, March 31st, 9 a.m., video walkthrough time. We're here at this ridiculously early hour in the morning because today the electrical appliances are getting dropped off. <clears throat> so we need to be here to inspect them when they get opened up and before Mike does the actual installation. We, actually, we now have dates. The planned closing date is three weeks from now, the 21st of April. And we would, would be moving the day after that, not the Tuesday after that, the 20, 27th of April, 28th, someplace in there. Because of the mud, I'm going to not take my usual path through the front door. We'll be going in the garage. Take a quick view of the backyard. That's where the propane tank is. That's the Baroness's Demise back there. 14 extra acres we're going to be buying. Porch is in. Again, I'm not going to walk down there, it's too muddy. Garage is being used as a staging area for cutting wood. Electric door openers are now in. Garage door openers. This is the way the landing and the stairs are set up. It's blocked in. This is the same kind of railing and handrail set up on the back porch. The tile on the floor. Pretty soon this area here will be filled with First view of the kitchen, kitchen cabinets, refrigerator going here, dishwasher under the counter, stove and microwave openings. Happy Trish. The Facebook picture of her snickering in glee is gotten the most likes and comments of anything I have ever posted on Facebook. I should post pictures of pretty girls more often. Cutting into the dining room. You can see the hardwood floor where it isn't covered up by tile. Looking from the dining room through to the kitchen. Here's the view in the great room, looking from the front door, and it's very bright now with the sky, <coughs> the sunshine coming through the windows and bouncing off the hardwood floors, it's lighting the place up a whole lot. We like the fact that the hickory, like right here you can see, there are light spots and dark spots. That's exactly the kind of floor that we were looking for instead of a boring floor. You in the front hall closet. Light fixture of the sconce will be going in there soon. Looking at the bedroom.
bathroom looks particularly nice now because we have the floor, the bathtub tile, and then the dark tile on the sinks. Low comfort, something comfort dual flush toilets. The fixture in the shower is now in. some kind of bronze thing, and a view of exactly how big the kitchen, uh, the bathroom counters are. You can see the sun coming in. <clears throat> Wasn't that long ago that I could cut through that wall there to get from the bathroom to the living room. There's my pinup girl. View up the stairs. The risers are in on those ones, and then they're covered up so they don't get dirty when people climb up and down. These risers here are wider. They're on special order. They may or may not come in in time. If they don't, they'll... Temporary risers will get put in. That'll hold off putting the rug runner. The bottom isn't painted. When they get finished with other stuff, it'll get painted white. The bathroom that need not exist but does, because Trish insisted, is set up. You can see the pedestal with the plumbing fixtures and another dual flush toilet. kitchen. Yep, awful lot of light coming in. Sneak peek. This is where a rug is going to go in. Since <clears throat> the flooring people made a mistake and put floor in this first. Uh, we decided not to tear it up and instead just leave it here and they're eating the extra cost for not doing it in carpet. Ooh, I'm feeling heat. There's a lot of hot air coming down from here. Since there isn't a register in the floor in this room. Lots of bookcases going in this room. More fixtures, more plumbing, more heat coming from the ceiling. <laughs> One of the things that I picked out that Trish is saying turned out to be a good idea was the doors. Instead of the traditional door panels, we have six rectangles from top to bottom. Looking out at the basement, <clears throat> there's a little weather stripping at the bottom of these doors. You look in and see a lot of darkness. It's cold in there. This is a glass door. I'm not sure if it was on the last video, and it will be <clears throat> having the plastic stripping pulled off. Looking at my office door. 
lots of holes in the ceilings for speakers and smoke detectors and things, another heating register. this place is. Oh, look who we find again. I can't help it if you're photogenic. I am not photogenic. Your admiring fans disagree. These are the stairs that are going to be here until the basement gets refinished, so this will look well, but pretty much the way it will be when we buy the place. <clears throat> Over here is the corner where I'll be setting up bookcases and tables and things. There's a cutoff for the water valve for one of the faucets outside. with a look out the backyard because Mike the Builder just showed up and we'll be talking with him.